Hello everyone, Luke for Smith here and welcome back to another quickie reading. It is Saturday, the the 2nd of January 2021. We're going to read a short one today. I feel like reading a short one and this is basically going to be a abridged version of Chris Chan in the year 2020. Uh, this is the article of Linnell. Um I believe it's article of Linnell. Article of the week. Uh, there we are. It's here. If you want to read this, go go to this. Go to the quickie right now and click more, and then it will. This page will pop up. My mouth feels very slimy, and I hate it. I really hate it when that happens. So, 2020 was the year. Uh, was the 12th year of organised trolling and the start of its and the start of its second decade. The Sonic movie was released in February in America. <laughs> it wasn't released over here in cinemas, it was like actually was it? I kinda of forgot. I can't remember back back then but it probably was released over here. It only had a month until everything closed. Chris was Chris in with Chris enjoying it despite his earlier grievances President Piemert, that's Trump backwards, lost his re-election bid to Joe Biden, whom Chris had endorsed, that is, until he voted for Lisa Simpson. <laughs> um, if you don't know what that reference is, there was a, I believe there was like a, uh, a Halloween episode of The Simpsons where, where Lisa Simpson was the president of the United States. The coronavirus pandemic which began in the last few days of 2019 worsened significantly on a global scale resulting in the cancellation of numerous events. Along with them was BabsCon which Chris was eagerly awaiting. To cope with this he began body swapping with Sonic in April which continued for the rest of the year. Chris, Chris's gradual mental decline continued, digging himself deeper into his delusions of the dimensional merge. He also made contact with the Parater gang of Reens and gave a Discord, a several Git Discord Q and A's. Let me just check my recording levels. Yeah, my sound levels is perfectly fine. Um. I get a bit paranoid like if I left my um my mic volume a bit low so it doesn't record much. Okay, so we've got an entire twelve um twelve things to talk about and then we'll go through the pictures. To be fair, right, let's go through the pictures as we go them because they're monthly. So this is the first one. Twenty twenty the greatest and only film. And you know what? I have not seen the Sonic movie yet. Nor have I seen the new Wonder Woman film yet. I've seen the first one but not the second one. The first one is not released in the UK yet. But it will be this month on um, Amazon Prime. So this is basically an edit of the um, Sonic movie poster. With Sonic hearing Chris Clan. Chris Clan's better looking in the poster. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Don't worry. This, this dark won't last long. January. Chris started, I was actually main articles for him, I'm not going to read the main articles. Chris started a new decade on the quiet note, no up, no videos uploaded on Twitter, Chris made a plea to for the end games to unban him, which obviously wasn't successful. He eventually sent him a piece of mail containing a drawing, presumably in an attempt to harass or intimidate him. At the actually end of the month, Chris was sued for debt again, yet again, this time by two creditors, Portfolio Recovery Associates and Jefferson Capital Systems. February. Chris turned 38 this month, oh god. So next month it will take another year for him to reach 40. <laughs> this month saw the Sonic movie and tried comforting a underage user on Twitter by recounting the time he saw Bob's dick. Well, do you tell that to a minor? I do not know. Which he was 
which he was re permitted for Chris. Uh, Chris went on a massive screed about how the trolls ruined his life and made him hate sex. Other than this, not a whole lot happened. And here's basically Chris in um, in February. There you go. I'm not going to enlarge it because you can see it. Um, in March, on the 13th of March, the aforementioned coronavirus pandemic was declared a national emergency which resulted in the cancellations of numerous social events and other things, including BabsCon, which Chris would go onto Twitter to complain about. Other than that, the month in general became very slow for Chris and his followers. Yeah, don't worry Chris, you're not alone. They cancelled a ton of events for us in the UK, including, um, let's see, basically all Comic Cons in, in the UK, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. Um, as well as um, the furry event CF which goes on in um, I believe that's in May that normally goes on that was cancelled as well as the cinema shutting yeah don't don't worry Chris you're not you're you're not alone you have to suffer as well um, uh, this is this is the Mark um, one <clears throat> he's got his tacky keeving is that like that's like um Oh, I can't, I, I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but that's definitely the Assassin's Creed symbol. But it's like another one. I can't remember any uh, the, um, the proper name for any mouldy sonically medallion around its neck with a little stone attached to it. Looks really tacky, to be fair. Um, in April on uh, April the 15th Chris announced that he has swapped bodies with Sonic U and they're all playing such as such through the rest of the month and role plays with as such for the rest of the month he also appeared in a live stream hosted by Irene and I watched that live screen and it was terrible the host was terrible and Chris was terrible the only good thing about it was the musician who hated Chris and the actual host uh, I don't know if that's still up, if the um, live stream is still up, but I'm not going to search for it because I kind of forgot the actual channel name. Um, what was that? April, April, April. Yes, this one. This was him in the um, stream right here. I'll make it bigger for you right here. Duh, duh, duh. No, wrong one. Duh, 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 duh. There you go. His bloated grandma face. There you go. Sorry, I had to put you through all that. Um, in May, Chris continued to believe that he has. That's better. Chris continued to believe that he has supped the bodies of Sonicu, and such, and as such, role played as him on Twitter. Chris also streamed part two of the an analysis Arcany reaction live streams. Uh, this is him in May. Right there, um, looks depressed, unhappy, sad, and miserable. The hair's ponytailed back, which makes it look worse to me. His face pasty and shiny for some reason. Even though I'm not into My Little Pony, that plushy there look, looks quite sweet. Um, and the old Commodore 64 behind him. I never used the Commodore 64 before. First ever console was the um, Super Nintendo. Uh, in June, Chris has uh, Chris still in the midst of the body swap. Continued to spew out tweets. He watched the premiere of the derided Pony Life show and threatened to expose the trolls. He also streamed a third part of the Analysis Arcany reaction live streams. Um, where's June? Okay, this is June. Is that June? Yeah, yeah, I kind of forgot what I did. Um, there we are. It's a weird edit that he did. I don't know if you can, like, frown that much. This must be edited. Um, oh my Chris Clan hashtag GoPony is confirmed. Deity level awful. Okay. In July of 2020, now the fourth month of the body swap. Chris urged his fans to attack his enemies by doxing their, their Twitter handles. 
um, Twitter handles are public knowledge. You can't really dox a Twitter handle because everyone, everyone on Twitter has a Twitter, Twitter, uh, Twitter handle. And um, if you want to search for someone, you have to use that Twitter handle anyway to buy and follow them. So it's not really doxing by exposing their Twitter handles because they're public knowledge anyway. He confronted Jacob Sockness for the first time in months and made a sexually suggestive tweet to a young artist other than this Chris shielded away from the public public life as the pandemic continued to unravel. Um I don't think yeah we don't have a um a post for July. Okay. In August saw several notable leaks including a scrapped interview from 2017 a large number of images uploaded by Chris on Discord and a full version of the oh I've got a moustache here in my mouth ah full version of the tour of Chris's house 3 still, still in his body swap with Sonic Chris also created a videotaped will and answered several Q&A's uh, that was a month where people started to get really concerned that he was dying, but turned out not not to be the case. It was just a thing that um, his Sonic Crew body swap has um, is going to be there for a long time. Um, let's see, that was August. There we are. Got August. His. Um, I don't know, is that like the crib look or the blood look? I'm really not quite sure. I think I actually commented on this on on his Twitter. It's like, what what gang is he in now? <laughs> it's like, seriously. And apparently he said that he uses that as a bandana and a uh, um, uh, like, like a face mask or something. I bet it must taste horrible and smell horrible, to be fair. So let's go through. Also, I hate wearing bandan bandanas on my head and that because it makes my hair really greasy and I hate wearing hats um, with long hair. Um, in, in September, the two the two debt cases from January wrapped up during September, leaving Chris with three three thousand six hundred and seventy eight dollars and ninety two cents more in debt. He also streamed the fourth part of the analysis. Our Ar reaction live streams. Barb was featured in two videos. One, one of which was a video message dedicated to Cole Smithy. Chris also continued to answer Discord Q and A's. Um, we got September. Yes, we got September. This was him from the um, the live stream. Obviously, he's got his head down this time. To be fair, I like it when his hair is down. It doesn't look that old and tacky. Um, but same setup. He d he doesn't really clank things around in in his live stream. Same pink shirt and things on his arms. Same same old same old. In October, during October, I body swap Chris released the cover of Sonic Crew 17. Met a group of people known as the Purator and finished the T uh, Team uh, Team Fortress that is analysis reaction series. And was interviewed on the Create Unknown podcast. Again, I've I looked at the podcast. I um, listened to it. Basically, it's just like sounds. To be fair, of a podcast. So I was like doing stuff around the house while listening to it. And yeah, it's more or less the same thing. You, you know, you know, Chris can do yeah. To be fair, that podcast was better than the um than that other shitty one that he did in um, earlier in the year. Uh, let's see that was October so here we are I might read about the um, parators um, who like set up the um, the um, yeah that's spread it did there's not much to be fair there really is not 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 much but I am gonna read it um, soon there we are he looks like he's about to do a tea pose or he's like frozen and he looks stiff as a board what's this it's not like kids or something. That's that's absolutely filthy. Really, if you're gonna like do a video, at least wear clean clothes, please. Like if if your clothes are dirty, 
change them don't you don't really exact same thing um right in november now in the sixth month of chris's a body swap his grasp on reality continued to deteriorate after claiming to have a to have vote for Lisa Simpson during the 2020 presidential election for the US instead of Joe Biden. However, Chris welcomed Trump's defeat. He all, Chris also continued to answer more questions from Discord and uploaded a video of himself reading a fanfic. Um, do we have November? Yes, this was in the video where he read out the, um, the fanfiction. <clears throat> Quality is not as great, but there you go. You can see this phone. He's reading it on this phone because you can see it on the reflection of the glasses. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's in a different place. No, he's in the same same house. It's like head covering the um the background. You can see some artwork and stuff. You can see his like transformers stuff. Um, his like artwork and whatever's of the there. Uh, and in December, Chris recorded voice clips for his Sonic World Peak, uh, Sonic Room mod, which contained content stolen from other modders without credit. Cause, cause it's Chris, you know, he has to steal stuff. He, this resulted in his submissions getting flagged, leading to, leading to Chris making a public apology. Other than this, Chris made a cryptic tweet announcing the merge is on. He actually announced that last week, I believe. Presumably in reaction to BabsCon being cancelled, being yet again delayed, this time till 2022. And you know what? The way things are, 2022 might be cancelled as well. Um, here we... Oh, we, we got through the pictures. We gone through the pictures. We have 2021 here. I'm going to read it anyway, because it, it, this is short. <laughs> Um, uh, things described here in this article are still happening, maybe subject to change, obviously, because we're, we're only in like, the second day of January, you know. 2021 is the 13th year of organised trolling. Yeah, there are two whole days to do that. <laughs> mm, it marks the 30th anniversary of the Sonic Son the Hedgehog fan. Wow! This year's the 30th anniversary. Started in 1990. 1991. Huh, never knew that. And the four and the fourteenth, fourteen years since the discovery of Chris and the world of Sonic, Joe Biden, is the next president of the United States, will take will take office in January, succeeding Donald Trump. Barbara turns eighty on the first of October. If he manages to live that long, I I was I was going I didn't even read that and I thought it in my mind. Chris turns thirty nine years old on the twenty fourth of January. So be sure to t send your Twitter. Um, messages to him. On the sixth of September, will mark seven. Will mark ten years since the passing of Bob Chandler. It's been ten years since he passed away. Fucking hell, that's terrible. He was the only one who who basically didn't like Chris as much. He's like the one that suffered the most. I'm pretty sure, but he's free. He is actually free from him now. So now it's like Chris and Barb together in that house. I right. Okay, that 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 was it. That was it. Let me pull up my um my OBS um broadcaster right now. I'm going to leave it here and I will see you guys in another video.